Welcome to My Soul Looks Back in Wonder, How I Got Over, an exhibition produced in commemoration of the centennial of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre. Curated by Tulsa artist Skip Hill, the exhibition continues at 108 Contemporary through June 20th, 2021. In addition to the work of Skip Hill, the exhibition features the work of Letitia Huckabee, an artist currently residing near Fort Worth, Texas. The exhibition was made possible by Vision Tulsa, a grant program supported by the City of Tulsa and the Tulsa Arts Commission. Additional support was provided by Robin Ballinger. Hill's curatorial statement describes My Soul Looks Back as a thoughtful visual dialogue that uses art to examine how the pervasiveness of a collective past informs our present and how the persistence of hope and collective purpose positively redeems us to our present and our future. Hill and Huckabee both draw upon the power of their experience, their imagination, their craft and creativity to capture in material form the tragic, the transcendent, the beautiful, the possible, and the imminent. The title of the exhibition is a refrain from the classic gospel song, How I Got Over, composed and published in 1951 by Clara Ward. In one of the most electric moments of the historic 1963 March on Washington, the American gospel singer Mahalia Jackson gave a rousing performance of How I Got Over following Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. The song was one of Jackson's favorites to perform because it told a story of personal survival and spiritual transcendence. During his artistic career, Skip Hill has produced a body of work that includes mixed media drawings, paintings on canvas and wood, collages on paper, and large-scale interior and exterior murals. Hill's portion of the exhibition includes this mixed-media painting titled Beauty Shop Aria, which pays homage to the legacy of Mabel Little, a Tulsa Race Massacre survivor who operated the Little Rose Beauty Shop at 612 South Archer Street in Greenwood. Little, who received a certification from Madam C.J. Walker's beauty course, later took the state's cosmetology certification test and helped elevate the profession. She and her husband Presley lost everything in May 1921, including the beauty salon, Presley's restaurant, the Little Cafe, their new five-bedroom house, and the couple's Model T Ford. Barbershop, Edge Up, is another mixed media painting in which Hill pays homage to black entrepreneurs. The work lifts up the barber as a traditional cultural institution in Greenwood and the black community as a whole. Barbershop draws graphic inspiration from street art, murals, wall tapestries, and sacred narratives found in stained glass church windows. The composition of Hoop Dreams, The Hustle, is informed by chessboards, police mugshots, and barbershop hairstyle posters as a vehicle for contemplating historic and contemporary issues affecting Greenwood and communities of color throughout our country. The exhibition also includes the original collages Hill created as illustrations for a new children's book written by Quresh Ali Lansana and Naja Amatula Hilton. Opal's Greenwood Oasis tells the fictional story of a young girl living in Greenwood on the day before the Tulsa Race Massacre. Hill's illustrations, along with the words of Lansana and Hilton, emphasize the beauty and vitality of the community that would be devastated, yet not destroyed, by the massacre. Hill has described his creation of this body of work by saying, the works were birthed out of my research into the history of Greenwood and the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921 for the children's book Opal's Greenwood Oasis. This research involved collecting and sifting through scattered scraps of whispered stories, blurred images, and uncovered remnants, 
for the purpose of creating art that weaves together these various elements and brings awareness of the community's history and present. As Hill noted in his artist statement, the illustrations from Opal's Greenwood Oasis recapture the vitality of Greenwood's storied past through the bright eyes of a black girl riding her bicycle through the streets of her beloved community. The spirit of Opal's story and the world she lives in is conveyed in her observation that in Greenwood, we have everything we need and it might surprise you to know that everyone looks like me. Letitia Huckabee creates unique objects using photography printed onto non-traditional materials. Currently residing near Fort Worth, Texas, Huckabee lived in Lawton, Oklahoma as a teenager when her father was stationed at Fort Sill. Her portion of the exhibition features work created for this show which follows the tradition of visual storytelling, combining people, land, and tradition. Trained in photojournalism at the University of Oklahoma, Huckabee loves pushing the boundaries of photography by using a traditional practice in a non-traditional way. Her images are printed onto fabrics that carry a history connecting the past to the present. Huckabee visited Tulsa's Greenwood neighborhood in December 2020 and again in January 2021. During her first visit, Huckabee learned that the neighborhood was named after Greenwood, Mississippi, where her father was born and raised. This discovery prompted Huckabee to create a project that documents two residential blocks. One block is located in Tulsa on Haskell Place in a neighborhood adjoining historic Greenwood. The 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre desecrated the Greenwood neighborhood, one of the most prosperous African-American communities in the early 20th century. The other residential block is located on St. Charles Street in the town of Greenwood, Mississippi, the namesake of the district in Tulsa and the birthplace of Huckabee's father. Although the haunting steps featured in Huckabee's photographs are often considered to be located in Greenwood, this block actually is just west of the historic district. On June 1, 1921, Tulsa's Greenwood neighborhood, the city's prosperous African-American community known as Black Wall Street, was left smoldering after 18 hours of racial violence. More than 1,000 homes and businesses were destroyed by an angry white mob. The death toll is uncertain. However, historians estimate that up to 300 black lives were lost during the massacre. The homes on Haskell Place were not destroyed during the massacre because the neighborhood was predominantly white in 1921. The homes were removed as part of an urban renewal project in the 1980s and 90s. At the time of removal, the area was predominantly black. The planned construction did not come to pass, so the steps remain as a symbol of loss and displacement in the black community of Tulsa. Because it was not possible for Huckabee to photograph actual examples of massacre-related destruction, these steps, which are just steps away from historic Greenwood, serve as a powerful metaphor for the homes lost in 1921. For this project, Huckabee traveled to both locations, documented the city blocks, and framed the images together as a way to visually tie the two locations together. The images are printed onto cotton fabric and framed in embroidery hoops hinged together to speak to the bifold frames people display of loved ones in their homes. Huckabee was accompanied by her mother on her trip to Greenwood, Mississippi, and the journey was filled with family stories and memories. Huckabee emphasizes her family's history by including several images of herself as a child in the project. Her father, who was stationed in Germany, took these images and sent them to his mother in Mississippi as a way of connecting her with the granddaughter she had not yet met. At its most basic level, Huckabee's project is about home and connectedness. As she states, 
The work speaks to the desire for a people to build a home of their own, the struggles that hinder the American dream for far too many of its citizens, and a present. The works in my soul looks back and wonder how I got over, weave together materials of fact and myth in order to examine the evidence of loss and triumph, to collect the residue of memory, and to explore the historical correctives of the present. The artists have created unique visual expressions of that which is most universally human in all of us, our fears, our pain, our resilience, our faith, and our shared hope for redemption and renewal. Thanks for taking this virtual tour of My Soul Looks Back and Wonder How I Got Over. 108 Contemporary is located at 108 East Reconciliation Way in the heart of the Tulsa Arts District. The gallery is open Wednesday through Sunday from 12 to 5 p.m. Admission is always free. You can find out more about our nonprofit arts organization by visiting 108contemporary.org.